Welcome to Morning Glory Farmstead. My name is Lolly, and this channel is all about gardening, animals, and nature. You guys, we just got over some really nasty weather. It was very icy, and so it's a little bit damp, but we're getting a little bit of sunshine today, and these guys are so glad to get back to their routine again. Scone is on some medicine right now, and so whenever a dog needs a pill, I use their wet food to disguise it and I feed them all with a spoon and they think it's the greatest thing in the world. So I call out their names when it's time for them to get a bite, but you can see some of them get really excited, kind of jump up and down, but overall they do really well. I'm gonna speed up the timing of this or we're gonna be here for a while. All right, we've got the black hat chickadee and the male cardinal, super vibrant. Most male birds are more vibrant. That's how they attract those girls. This is a new one. I think it's a tanager, but I'm not absolutely positive. It's the first time it's been to my property. They add so much color when it's cloudy outside. This was the afternoon of the day that we had had ice and it had melted for the most part, but the birds were cold and wet. And so I like to make them some hot eggs with a bunch of vegetables inside it. And I also give them the shell. It's all cooked up together and they absolutely love it. If you guys are wondering why my chickens look a little shabby, you guys check out my video that I did on my chicken and rooster situation. That'll explain it all. Look at these blue jays, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. They will easily eat up the sunflower seeds. I counted one time, and I can't remember if it was 17 or 20, but that was peanuts. They ate a ton of peanuts. They just keep going, and you think, where in the world are they putting those? Y'all have probably seen the red belly woodpecker in my other videos. Man, he is absolutely one of my favorites. I love the way he looks and sounds. This is Mags. And this is Wiggles. All right, this is the nut hatch. Now we've got the female cardinal. You can tell because she's got the brown. She's not just the vibrant red. So all of my green stalks have been covered for three days. I'm checking out the giant noble spinach. You can see I didn't have any supports or anything. So the top is kind of flat there, but they're still good to go. And they'll perk back up once it gets warmer. We actually got down to freezing temps again with the real feel around 27 or 28 and we had all of that ice. So considering all of that, they're doing really well. Like I said, they're a little sad looking now, but they are definitely going to perk up. Lots of life left. Now these at the bottom are looking even better because they didn't get smashed as much as the top did because of the cover. Some of these look a little raggedy, but that's because my cats were constantly chewing on the ones at the bottom and kind of using those bottom tiers to jump up to the top. But overall, they're looking good. All right, guys, I'm gonna share a secret that I have been keeping from you and I've actually shown it in numerous videos, but I've never given it proper attention or talked about it because every time I filmed, I would remember that I didn't look up how to say it properly. So I've alluded to it before in other videos and it's been growing for several months. You can eat it hot or cold. It's super easy to grow and it's been as at least resistant to the heat and cold as kale and spinach, making it through the wind chills of negative 10 while using my green stock covers. 
right now it's getting ready to flower and go to seed. So I went back and I pulled some footage from other videos over the last several months. And so the lighting may be a little bit different each one due to the weather and the time of day. Now I'm gonna show you some of the footage so you can look at it and see if you know what it is. All right, and before I forget, let me mention that if you guys are thinking about getting a green stock garden, check out my link in the description box and make sure that you use my code to get 10 bucks off your purchase. All right, are you guys ready? Here it is, do y'all recognize it? All right, this is a brassica called Chijimisai. And because English is my first language and I didn't practice saying it much, every time I recorded a video, I would bypass it again. So now I've practiced numerous times so that I remember it starts with Chi. Now I got these at Baker Creek like the other seeds that I've showed you in one of my last videos and I'll link that in the description box but I know that you guys may be able to find them somewhere else. Now I paid four bucks for the pack and there's supposed to be a minimum of 200 seeds in each pack and I only used two seeds in each hole and I only planted it in two pockets so I know as I bump up how much I plant I'm really going to get a lot. Now it takes roughly 55 days to mature and it's got a ton of vitamin A and it's also a great source of other minerals and protein. Now it's a cross between two other Asian greens that I'm not going to try to pronounce and it's a great substitute for spinach. It's supposed to be an innovative new heirloom that's both heat and cold tolerant and they say you can grow it year-round in most growing zones just not during the extreme seasons of particular climates. You guys it's delicious and you can do all kind of stuff with it. You can put it on pizza, put it in soups or stir fry or eat it cold in a salad. Now, I usually throw it in with my collards, bok choy, and kale when I'm eating those with my chicken, and I've done that in another video. I've been growing these since this past spring, and I am going to grow a lot more this season now that I know how much I love it. And I grew them in organic potting mix with organic worm castings, and that was it. Now, it says that it's not frost hardy and that the ideal temp is 60 to 80, but again, I grew it spring, summer, fall, and winter, and I just watered it plenty, six hours of sunlight daily, and used my green stock covers during extreme temperatures. And even when it looked a little less than perfect after being in the teens or below, it always made a comeback. And if it was scorching hot, like 105 degrees outside, I just rolled it out of the sun the best that I could. So you can grow this too. I hope you guys will try the Chijimisai and come back later and tell me what you guys think in the comments. And if you've already grown it, leave me some comments today below. Let us know what you thought of it. Again, I'll have the link to Baker Creek Rare Seeds in the description box and I'll add it to the Facebook group. All right, you guys, I'll see you real soon in the next video. And until then, y'all have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.